So welcome everyone to the year in review. Uh, my name is Richard Chung, Chairman of the Board, and this is Leanne Darrington, my CEO. COVID has been an incredibly troubling time for everyone. It's been frightening for the community, frightening for uh, all aspects and everyone involved in, in the management of health during this time. But the organisation has been able to step it up and step it up from uh, its staff. Uh, the staff have adapted amazingly through this time and really the move to remote working has been a successful one for WAFA. But more importantly, the silver lining for me has been that we've been able to establish partnerships and collaborations with the federal government, the state government, and our service providers. We've supported our service providers, we've supported general practice, allied health through these times. We have demonstrated to the community and to um, the governments that we're here and we're here to stay and we have a purpose and we, have, we are effective in delivering and assisting our, both our community and our uh, stakeholders. We've demonstrated capacity and capability. Building on Richard's themes, clearly uh, these last 12 months have required agility, flexibility, rolling the sleeves up and getting on. And while uh, Waffa did some fantastic work during this, through the sort of high peak period of COVID, we also continued much all of our business as usual. So there's been a range of strategies that have just been going on while we've also responded, adapted, um, worked differently uh, through these very uh, challenging uh, times. So yes, there's been silver linings in terms of how we've stood up, the trust it takes to have people all working remotely, but indeed all best endeavours, but also the continuing work that providers and clinicians undertook. So the year in review is a highlight uh, in one whole year because I think it's a year we're all going to remember.